the fact that a war was going to be waged at us again, right? We kind of all got distracted, like you said, by the luxuries of life, by trying to progress as a people. And we, we completely missed the boat on the fact that they were planning and they're, they're completely organized and we're not. And um, I think now is, is, is really the time for us to utilize this moment to mobilize, uh, to get together, to, to prioritize what's important and to really set an agenda on, on what needs to happen next moving forward, man. I think that's your outcome in time. You and I, I'm, I'm out here, you know, I just got off the phone with uh, Mustafa and the minister um, and uh, uh, awaiting their insight and direction. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. just constantly, I know you, you, you out in L.A., man, surrounding yourself with people who can inform you and educate you on, on, on how to take the next steps forward. Uh, but shit, bro. As long as we care, as long as we continue to work diligently, man, and, and try to try to answer the questions that we don't have the answer to right now, it's gonna come. It's, it's gonna, gonna come. come. Yeah. And that's you know that's what I also tell people is like we we we're making up for a lot of years of oppression. We're making up for a lot of years of misinformation. We're making up for a lot of years of not having books and not having you know uh, uh, the the proper tools to act out. And so when, when we see all the disparities that are happening now, we're, we're dealing with 400 years of backstory that led us to where we are today, man. So like you said, man, we care. We're on it. For everybody that's out there that, that posted the black screen today, uh, you know, there was a, it, it seemed like a positive thing. Some people were saying it's negative. Like, I think right now it's, it's two sides to this war, like you said. It's the decent and the indecent. And, and and those with a moral fortitude and those without it. And it's like, over time, we're going to get to where we need to be. But right now, uniting, standing together, that's what's, that's what's really important right now. That's real. Hey, I mean, I think there's a collective effort. Everybody has a place and a purpose in this shit. You know what I mean? If everybody does a little bit, nobody has to do a lot. You know what I mean? So I'm going to just continue to try and do my part and support everybody else around me just doing their part. Yep. All right. Love it, man. Uh, and somebody just posted, why is the black square wrong? We're not saying the black square is wrong, so don't get that twisted. What we're saying is today is a primary vote day. And for a lot of us, we didn't have that information this morning. I didn't know about it. Uh, and, and now we want to make sure that people know how important it is if you're in one of those states to vote as well. So it's I'm going to put that, it in my story. I'm going to put, yeah, we'll I'm put I'm that in our, in our stories as well. I'm going to put this, 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 this uh, voting today in my story. Exactly. So part, part of what we're saying right now is just we got to keep communicating and get the information to each other. Tip, I love you. Get on about your day. I'll call you later, bro. All right. Love All and respect, bro. Love, bro. And again, if you just tuned in, uh, we woke up this morning and, and all felt a little weird. Last night, we saw the, the hashtag go out uh, about, you know, putting up the black screen, the solidarity. Why do I think that's important? I think it is important for all people to, to stand together as one. It's very important. So when I saw people that haven't posted, you know, Black Lives Matter or anything for the first time, I was like, okay, that's a good thing. When I woke up this morning, people was like, oh, no, take off the Black Lives ha ha hashtag. Uh, put on, uh, on Blackout Tuesday as the hashtag because uh, we're only focusing on, on that. And it led to a lot of confusion. There was a lot of group chats on what are we doing? Then we found out the information that there's a big primary vote happening today in multiple states. So then we said, hold on, hold on. Was this all a distraction from the fact that we should be mobilizing people to get out there and vote? Are we posting black screens when we should be posting to go out there and vote? Either way, uh, it feels like right now, it was a lot of miscommunication this morning. So again, we just wanted to jump on and say, look, if you're in one of those states, I'm going to post it on my stories. Make sure that you go out there and vote in those primaries. The way that we're going to be heard and the way that we're really going to hit them is by voting. We have to make sure that we have people in power. All of it is a trickle down effect. It does not just come down to the president of the United States. We need to have the right governors in place. We need to have the right mayors in place. They're the ones that are going to appoint and hire in certain states the attempt, attorney generals. They're going to put the district attorneys in there. They're going to put, we got to put the right people in office. The chief of police, very important positions. We got to have the right people 
because it's all a trickle down effect. So again, if you want to post the, the black screen, I stand with you in solidarity on that. But also make sure, put in your stories or tell people they got to exercise the right to vote. Part of why we are not getting respected is because they don't feel like we're the ones putting them in power. We're not the ones that are out there voting. We have too much disconnection and we, we say too many 